Hello and welcome to my channel. I don't normally do a voiceover on a video, but with this one I thought it was of some interest. I can see on the maps there, there was uh, an old farm called Roscoe's Farm, I believe from around the 1700s. Anyway, I'm flying the Mavic over this field just to give you an aerial view of what has been uncovered. This field in question here has been sold off and they are looking to build properties on it, hence all the uh, little scuff marks here where they've been testing the ground where they're going to build the properties, I think uh, townhouses. So whilst they're digging and checking out the land they came across the uh, remains of an old farm. As I said it's called Roscoe's Farm, uh, indicated with the arrow on the map. And the local council got in the local archaeological team to come and have a look uh, before they allowed the builders to destroy all what was underneath the ground. So here I am flying the Maverick over what I think looks like um, some old outbuildings and a yard. So I'm just going along the perimeter here just to see how much has been uncovered and how big the farm actually was. If you scroll back to the beginning of the video and look at the maps, you can hopefully zoom in. Uh, if you put on pause and uh, see um, a bit closer on that map. Try to get closer, but not as close as I could get it. So this building here, what is it? Is it part of a barn? Is it part of the house? I'm not sure, but this looks like a, a chute or something there to the right of the bottom of the picture now. Okay, I'll keep sorry, just in the middle. And here we can see it looks like stairways leading to the cellar or cellars. Obviously a few uh, few parts of it there. In them days people's homes were heated by coal. So I imagine one of these here would have been a coal chute. So the coal would have gone maybe into that middle area there. I think the, the long uh, thin section where the coal then would have probably been dug out. Uh, through where you can see that fuel of water in the middle of the biggest um, cellar. Um, that's where the coal would have fallen in and they would have dug it out there, brought up the stairs and stuck it in the fire to keep the property warm. So as the aircraft is scouting around to the right, now you can see it's all cobbled. Um, so this would have obviously been an outside section of the, uh, the farm. Um, with horses and horse and carts and various other vehicles the farm rad would have driven along these cobbles. Over here, uh, more buildings, was it uh, where the horses were stored, the cattle, cows or whatever? Again, we're not sure, but as you can see with the red netting fence, there's a, a circle there and this apparently was a well. Okay, so uh, it's obviously been covered in, uh, but you can see there's a small hole there just south of the well um, and obviously for safety reasons they've, they've covered this uh, area just in case I imagine anything gives away and the hole reappears, who knows where it leads. So again, there's a bit of buildings here as we're panning around. Some uh, corridors there and different rooms. So it's just interesting to see how the buildings were, how this farm was. So as I'm pulling out there, we're having a look on uh, the overall size of the property. So this must have been the main house of the farm leading in from Bolton Road, which you can just see to the corner right of the screen. Again, panning around so you can see it from a different angle. They really have uncovered quite a lot, you can see with the uh, hilly mounds there, uh, that they've moved out of the way, that they would have had to dug out quite carefully, so not destroyed any evidence of the past. Again, skating back in here, again as I think is the main house section. So that probably was the yard there in front of the house, which is so you would have come in uh, the front door, even the cellar probably then would have been down those stairs, and then to your left, 
there you see like there's that windows so this would have been there for the windows would have gone from molester floor upwards in them days because they let as much light in as possible so about windows looking at that cellar there down the far left there they're just panning around just coming to the bottom of the screen now it's interesting to see a window in the cellar there was the ground a lot uh, shallower than what actually it is now again another hole here covered up the fence what was that we're not sure but just interesting just to share this old archaeological find with yourselves the mavic pro is certainly a great uh, craft to use to film uh, this kind of footage as it's quite stable aircraft and uh, the picture is quite clear so i do hope you've enjoyed this short interesting flight i certainly enjoyed uh, having a look around i said uh, i hope the voiceover is not too boring uh, but um, i thought uh, it'd be best to discuss it rather than keep her uh, putting editorial in there to try and explain what we're looking at so again thanks very much for watching thank you to all my subscribers for your subscriptions thank you for your kindness and your support and thanks to everybody please to take care fly safe and hopefully see you again soon on the channel thank you and goodbye